Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And so you're probably thinking from the title, are Britneys aggressive? That might be a silly question considering, um, you know, if you've owned them um, or you know anyone that has Britneys because they are quite friendly and playful. But I do get this question a lot, um, especially on videos because sometimes, right there over here <laughs> playing right now, but sometimes they like to play and they like to fight and so I've gotten a few questions about that but that is a genu uh, genuine concern when buying a dog is if they are more of a, an aggressive breed or not and I know that that term can be used and misused when it comes to dogs especially because what it ultimately comes down to is yes how you raise them but naturally are they an aggressive breed well I mean, as I've said in a couple of videos, they are used as hunting dogs, and so they can be. They absolutely can be, so that's also a good thing in some sense, because actually, um, Piper here, well, we were, I'll tell, I'll tell this story. So we were out on a walk about a couple months ago, and another dog had gotten loose, and it was complete misunderstanding. I think it was just wanting to play. I think that our dogs were just wanting to play, but it ran up toward us and Rooney, you know, how friendly he is. He ran up and just wanted to play. Well, the dog, it scared the other dog and it tried to bite Rooney. Well, Piper, <laughs> Piper was not having it. She absolutely went crazy. I mean, she didn't attack the dog, but she absolutely scared it to death. And I think if I wasn't holding on to her, she probably would have. And so they would never actually be aggressive. I don't think, but if things came to it, if they were defending each other or defending me, I think they certainly could be. So with that being said, I guess they can have an aggressive streak, but they wouldn't, well, I wouldn't say they wouldn't harm a fly because Piper likes to try to eat flies, but <laughs> really they wouldn't. They wouldn't They wouldn't harm anyone. They're great around um, kids from what I've seen on other videos. Um, great with new people um anytime people want to come over it's always you know they just want to come over and jump all over you and give you uh licks and kisses and all this stuff so they're not they don't necessarily have a naturally bad a naturally bad temperament now with that being said if you are training them to be aggressive then that's probably what you'll get so if you don't I guess, well, I don't know how you go about training a dog to be aggressive, but if you mistreat it, um, if you, I guess, teach it to go after things <laughs> and fight, I don't know. I don't know how you go about doing it, but I guess it's, it's definitely possible with all dogs. So I wouldn't go into buying a dog saying, okay, well, this dog's not an aggressive breed, so I'll be fine. If you train it to be aggressive, or if you mistreat it, then yes, it probably will be. Now, some people have seen in the videos. Come here, Rooney. You want to be in the video? Hold on, big boy. There he is. Oh, yes. He loves kisses. So, some people have seen in the videos where um, Piper and Rooney fight. And it sounds, it sounds really scary. But... They aren't actually like hurting each other. They aren't actually biting each other. They're just playing around. And I think that it's good for dogs to do that also, especially if you have two of them, you know, playing around. This is what they like to do. And so don't be alarmed if you hear them growling or showing their teeth or all this stuff. Now, if they're like actually biting each other and hurting each other pretty bad, then yes, I would intervene. But these two, they just like to play. And it's not making them aggressive. It's not teaching them bad habits if you let them play like that. Um, and also in one of my other videos, I recommended that if you do get a Brittany, that you definitely have at least more than one because they do like companions and they do get lonely. So, But that's on a side point. But back to the point on if they're aggressive or not, just to sum it up on a whole no, they're not what people considered an aggressive breed or whatever that means. Um, like any dog, it's about how you raise them, how you train them. Um, if you're wanting them to be aggressive and I guess the idea of 
using them, them to hunt, then that's also possible. I've seen plenty of dogs that are um, videos of Brittany's that are great hunters, but also loving family dogs at the same time. Um, they really will be what you make them in that sense, you know, however you train them, that's what they'll, uh, what they'll be like. But if you're out there wanting to buy a Brittany and wondering if this will be a good pet for a family, I think that it's a perfect pet for a family. And so they, uh, Bernie, what are you doing? <laughs> He's so funny. He literally takes blankets and builds a nest out of them. He'll spin around in circles until he makes a little nest out of the blanket and lays right in the middle of it. Uh, they're too funny. I definitely recommend getting a Brittany if, if, you, if you get the chance. But yes, just to close, I do not think that Brittany's are aggressive. So thank you all for watching. And if you wanna see more of these videos, uh, you can leave a question down in the comments. I get lots of questions. And I love making these videos, answering, uh, answering just quick little questions about um, my dogs. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.